Appreciate you, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, niggas, man? I'm back at y'all favorite place. Y'all know the place where we like being at the most. The place where 98% of our vlogs are shot at. The airport. If y'all don't know, Mo is still on tour. So, um, he got a show in Arizona. So, me being a nice friend that I am. Y'all know that I support all my friends. I support my friends' music career. Most of all, like, this nigga like my brother, man. So, I'm on the way to Arizona. It's like an hour flight to move show. Y'all know how we get, man, when the gang reunite, man. Y'all know we be, you know what I'm saying, to turn these young niggas in the city, man. Arizona kind of weak, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta go out there and be support for my brother, you know? So that's what I'm doing now. I'm on the way to Arizona. I'm checking in and shit right now. You know? Come on, man. Look at that boarding time, 10.38. What time is it? 10.15. I got a little bit, you know? A little bit of time, you know? Y'all know where we sitting at? Like always. You know what I'm saying? I think 3F is my favorite seat. I sit in seat 3F damn near all the time. Like that gotta be my favorite seat number. I'm about to walk through this shit and go check in. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a clear member, so I, I gotta go to clear. I pay for this high ass clear. Clear not high, I lied. But it's like $167 a year. So why not use it every time I go to the airport? So that's why I'm gonna walk through clear right now. If it, Oh, y'all remember Seth Feinberg? Yes, sir. Spotted him. Seth Feinberg, my guy. What's going on? Bitch ass nigga, why do not fuck with you? If y'all remember Seth Feinberg, y'all remember Seth Feinberg was the one that made me miss my flight on my birthday at the same airport and the same airline over bullets from my gun. Remember, he made me miss my flight when my flight was at 2 o'clock. And, and he made me miss my flight and I couldn't hop on the flight until 11 o'clock at night. That's that bitch ass nigga, so fuck him. I, I did not speak to him to be friendly. That nigga's a hoe. Anyway, I'm coming through the airport right now. Okay, go, go I got clear, I got clear. Look at they trying to send me off already, man. But if y'all notice something, this time when I went to the airport, y'all notice that I did not go to the counter. And y'all know why I didn't go to the counter? Because I did not go check my firearm in. And y'all know why I didn't check my firearm in? Because I left the house too late. Now I'm lacking, bro. So if y'all in Arizona, man, y'all you know saying just spare me today, man. I don't, want no, I don't want no trouble. I'm lacking today, man. I left my fire in the crib, man. Shit over with. I always come to the wrong gate. Like, every time I'm in the wrong number when I come to the airport. Like, my gate number is 53, but I came to Terminal 4. I'm supposed to be in Terminal 5 priority, but I came to Terminal 4. So, I gotta walk all the way to Terminal 5 through the airport. I make it in time, you know? I got me some sleep and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm full of energy and shit. So I'ma walk my ass to the gate, you know? Can't be late, you know? All this fucking walking I gotta do to make it to this gate, bro. Fun fact, a human should drink a gallon of water a day. Stay hydrated. That's just a fun fact. I just gotta throw that out there. I'm just gonna start giving y'all tips, like life tips and shit. You know how, like, when you a waiter at a restaurant and, like, you, you service people and shit, and then you want a tip, right? You want a tip. But sometimes a cash tip is not worth more than a life tip. See, if I give you a cash tip, right? Say I leave you 20, 30, 40 dollars tip. You gonna spend that shit like this. You know what I'm saying? That shit gonna be gone like in a matter of a day or two. That shit gonna be gone. But if I give you a life tip, that's something that stick with you forever, bro. Like, the tip gonna stick with you forever. So tip number one, I love giving this tip out. I love writing on my receipt and shit. Tip number one, don't walk down dark alleys at nighttime. That's a great ass tip. Like that tip's so good. Like you know what happened to alleys at nighttime, bro? You might get killed, mug, raw, jump, beat up, whatever. So for that, for that one, for that tip, you don't walk down dark alleys at night. Tip number two, look both ways before you cross the street. I love writing that on my receipt too, on the tip line. Look both ways before you cross the street. You might get hit by a car. You might be jaywalking. You might go to jail. You might, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff that can happen if you don't look both ways before you cross the street. You can hurt somebody else. So you gotta look both ways before you cross the street. Them the only two tips I'm gonna give y'all right now, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna give away all my tips, but y'all make sure y'all stay in tune for, for them two tips, because them are the two of the best tips that you can offer somebody. If you're a waiter at a restaurant, Luby's, Golden Corral, motherfucking Applebee's, 
wherever you work at. Stop thinking about a cash tip all the time. Take these life tips, man. I just got to my gate. This line is so long to get on a plane, bro. Like, so long. But lucky for me, Toodle, when you first class, you board first. Y'all look at this long ass shit, man. Playing Arizona and shit. About to get in my motherfucking Uber, take it to the room, you know, go shopping, you know. I ain't bring no clothes or nothing out here, bro. I just flew out here. I'm just out here right now. I gotta call a fucking Uber to my room. I was about to tell y'all the address, but y'all niggas might try to slide on me and shit. I ain't really too much feeling that, so I'm just gonna stay my ass right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Until until my Uber get here. I'm at door one though. If y'all trying to pull up on me right now, I'm at door one. See what I'm saying? Let me drop my location on y'all niggas real quick, man. Y'all niggas think y'all gangsters and shit, man. I'm at the motherfucking airport, boy. Yeah. I'm at door one, nigga. If you bought that shit, pull up on me. Oh. <laughs> nigga, out of pocket, boy. They put the shacks on my hand and he wrong for that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Who are you? <laughs> hey y'all, I just ran into this random girl in the airport, right? She ended up sitting like next to me and shit. And I kinda like her a little bit. We got to talk, she talking about um, she got a boyfriend and shit. So I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm trying to convince her that I'm for her, you know? I like you. What? What you mean you don't like me? What? I don't I don't know you to be your friend. I do like you though. Nothing. Are you gonna get on the Y'all just kissed a, a girl, like a stranger. I like it. Can I have your number before you leave? Huh? You just gonna kiss me and not give me your number? I'm serious, let me get your number. So I can't get the number. I'm gonna see you again. What you mean by that? I'm gonna meet you now. I don't know, y'all. She gonna give me her number, so. I guess we ain't never gonna see each other no more. Huh? You gotta just dip. No number, no nothing. Huh? I'm about to just dip. When you get home at 12? Are you about to just dip without giving me your number? That's what I asked you. I just asked you, was you about to leave without giving me your phone number? Are you serious? No number for me. Mm-mm. Why? Wow. If you don't give me a number, I'm about to get loud. Get loud. You won't. I'm going to just leave you right here then. I'm about to go to my plane and shit. I ain't. Nice to meet you, though. That's it. A little handshake. Just going to go from giving kisses to homeboy adapts and shit like I dap my homie up. Yeah. All right, bet. Fuck with you.